Hey everybody, this is Anthony with you again from Biblical Truth and Reality, and this is part two to that question of what many of you may have been shocked by when I say that the King James Bible is given by inspiration of God according to 2 Timothy 3.16. So this is a more specific answer to that claim as well. ask you this. All scriptures get by inspiration of God. You know what the word all means, right? A double L? Yes. All. Every one. Everything included. Mm-hmm. All scripture. All of it is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be truly furnished unto all good works. That's just paraphrasing verse number 17. <laughs> Many people claim, oh, just the original manuscripts are given by inspiration of God. That's the context. Really? Well, if that's the case, then the context of the verse in that regard would read like this. All scripture in the original autographs was given by inspiration of God and was profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Let me ask you a question. If that's the case, that only the original manuscripts were given by inspiration of God, then it is only the original manuscripts that can be profitable for what? For doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Let me ask you this. Do you have the original manuscripts? You bunch of Bible-correcting, double-standard hypocrites? No, you don't. Even John Ingerberg, back in his KJV-only debate in 1996-1997, approximately somewhere in there, he even admitted the original manuscripts don't exist anymore. You don't have the original manuscripts, so therefore your theology completely falls apart. Because if only the original manuscripts was given by inspiration of God, then it is only the original manuscripts that is profitable for all those things listed below in this verse right here. So you have no reason to live for God, and you have no standard to know what God said or know what true sound doctrine is, because you might as well burn every single Bible that you've created, a bunch of Bible correcting committees. You might as well just burn every Bible, because none of that is profitable, because only the original manuscripts are in your theology. What? Do I sense a double standard here? You double-tongued hypocrites? Yeah. Don't give me any of that foolish garbage. Alright? Do you have the scripture? You hear pastors open up the Bible and they say, Let's turn to the Bible to the scripture passage. Or let's all read the scripture together, and he opens the English translation. Do you have the scripture? Then according to that verse, you have what was given by inspiration of God. You say, why is that? Because that's what the text said. The double standard, I mean, just imagine, brethren, the double standard hypocrisy of these people, especially in the Hebrew roots movement, will hold up the scriptures, you know, um... ISR, I think it's called, 1998 version. The Hebrew Roots version, the Hallelujah Scriptures, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. They'll hold up their garbage translations up in the camera and they'll say, yes, this Hebrew Scriptures and the Scriptures version, the Hallelujah Scriptures, the Hebrew Roots version, blah, blah, blah. This is the Word of God. It's the most accurate. We'll never get closer to the original than this. These scriptures are the true words of God, mostly updated and perfected and corrected. The most accurate Bible you'll ever get. Those are the claims that they make. See the screenshot here of this video I made of Want an Accurate Bible? Yeah, I'll leave the link to that video in the description of this video. Watch that video <laughs> and their prefaces. You'll see that phony baloney they try to toss around. And yet, I bet you, Every one of them believes only the original manuscripts were perfect and given by inspiration of God. And yet they'll hold their 
professed, created Bible up in the camera or in the pulpit, wherever else it is, and they will say, oh, this is the true scripture right here. This is it. When they don't even believe it is scripture, because they truly believe the true scripture was only given by inspiration of God. And only the original manuscripts in their mindset theology can be profitable. They're lying to you. Let's see, the verse right here says, A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Hmm? If you believe, in literal interpretation, what Paul wrote in 2 Timothy 3.16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God, and if you claim you have the scripture, then you have what God gave by inspiration. The question is, which Bible is it? It can't be every one of these Bibles that contradict each other. There has to be one standard. How do I know that? Six times, six times, I'll repeat that. God gives that warning. Do not add or subtract from his words. Proverbs 30, verse 6, for example. Revelation 22, verses 18 through 19, another example. See the rest of these scriptures here. That's how you know. Which one is it? Also watch my video, see the screenshot here, which one, which one? The Bible text reveals it is the King James Bible, not the modern perverted translations. This Bible is the standard. Scripture text proves it. Many of you don't even believe me. Watch that video with the link I'll give in the description of this video. And you'll see the facts for yourself. It's the King James Bible by Scripture evidence and logical sense. You want the certainty of the words of truth? Here it is. It's been around for 400 some years. All of you, brethren, take care. Love the Lord Jesus Christ. Fear God and keep his commandments. And read and believe the King James Bible. Thanks.